Hi everyone, it's Militza here. I'm going to be showing you today how to create your everyday look and turn it into a nighttime look. So what I've got on now is just, um, you can see some leftover strawberry shortcake. Um, I've got some bronzer on, color corrective, tinted moisturizer in the medium. So I've had this on since about 7 a.m. It's about 8.30 oh, 8 p.m. now. So I've had this on pretty much all day. And so I'm going to show you how to take this look your everyday look and turn it into a nighttime look with a bit more of a smoky eye. So we'll get straight into it. The first thing I like to do is use Pink Posy and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you just take that little bit from there but you want to sort of end it there. Okay, so it's kind of that look. Now it's not a cut crease but um, it does have that kind of look to it. Normally you'd put on candlelight as a base, but I already have that on from this morning. So I'm going to do that like that. Okay. And then I'm going to get a little bit of smoky topaz just to build that up a little bit. And just in the corner, a bit more like that. And really it's just blending it all in. All these work, all these looks work as long as you blend them in. Okay, see just that subtle bit has just made it that little bit more fuller. All right now the next thing I'm going to do is get pink frost and I like to put pink frost in this section right there and what you'll find that will do is that'll really open up your eye And again, blend that in. Now this is on top of existing foundation, uh, existing eyeshadows that I've had on since really early this morning. So it's really, 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 really easy to do. See, it's subtle, but you can go darker. So let's do the other side and then we can vamp it up even more. So um, again, we go in with the pink posy. Now the pink posy is almost like a terracotta. It goes on, it goes on really nice just on its own, really. But um, I like to use it as when I say base. Um, candlelight is just a given. I always use that as my base. But um, I like to use that just because it has like it leaves something for the color to sit on. It gives it a bit more of depth. It gives gives it a bit more depth, basically. Just do with a tad more. Okay. And then we go smoke to pass. And then we're going to get the pink frost. And we'll do the pink frost in the middle there. In the inner corner. So now, let me put some underneath my eyes. Let me put some smoke topaz underneath my eyes. I'm even just going to do it straight on my waterline. And you can just use it directly over your eye line if you want. Okay. 
Okay, so that's just giving you a little bit more depth. Now, I'm going to be putting on mulled wine, so this is going to be a pretty dark look. So I think I might actually put on a little bit more um, smoky topaz just here. Just in that little bit, and I'm just going to lift it up a lot. Course, just blonde. I like these brushes that have got the two ends on them. Okay, so it's just giving that a little bit more depth. And then you can always go back over and put some more. Um, Pink frost, if you like. But I'm going to put some candlelight on the top of my brow bone. See how it's just made it look darker already? It's just changed the, my face. It's given me a, a more dramatic look. So now I'm going to get some of the uh, bronze dust and uh, I'm going to need to put on a bit more bronzer because I'm going to be going darker with my lips and you've got to go, you know, even yourself out. Now I'm going to show you the very correct and proper way to put on your lip scents. I'm going to be using a darker colour so it's going to be very, very obvious. Um, when I say obvious, what I'm talking about is the application technique. Oh, and don't forget to put some of this silver rose on your eyes because it just really like lifts it up. I actually think I need a little bit more pink uh, frost. Now this is a quick nighttime application. I'm going to be doing another look with the um, uh, dramatic eye and a full smoky eye using onyx and getting some of the deeper colours involved. This is just more like, like this would take me five minutes. It's obviously taking a bit longer because I'm explaining it. But um, yeah, this is more just a quick day to night look which is really, really, really easy to achieve. And the best thing about it is that you don't have to take anything off. You're already using what you've got on your face. So you're using the palette that you already have. Let's get that in a bit. Blend is your friend. Okay. All right, now. To the fun part. Okay, so first things first. Oops, remember. Do my best to get the most of yourself because it was a struggle. I brushed my teeth to get it off because that was the best way to do it and considering I had it on since 7 a.m. and it's now like nearly, I don't know, 9 o'clock or whatever it is. Okay, so you're going to do a press and glide motion. So this is how you apply your lip sense, okay? Completely remove everything that's on your lips using the Oops Remover. Well, 
right inside. It's an oil. The Oof Remover is an oil. So it's not going to dry your skin out. It's not like it's got any alcohol in there that's going to make your skin feel dry. It's not going to do that. Okay, now I'm going to be using mold wine. So it's going to be quite dramatic. Okay, give it a good shake. I don't like doing that. Up and down. Okay, and the first thing I like to do with um, when I'm using these colours is I like to line my lips using the applicator. So to do that little thing where they all do this, ready? Using the tip. Okay. I'm going to see if I can do it. So I'm really just using the very, very tip, and I'm not even using like too much. I'm just sort of using what's on the end of the, the stick there. You see that? So it's just a rough guide, okay? And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your applicator and make sure you take off a little bit of excess. And you're going to press and glide from the same spot to the other side. You're not going to press your lips together, you're not going to talk, you're not going to lick them. You're just going to be very, very still and let that layer dry. Then you're going to do it again, and then you're going to do it again. So three coats, and then you can put on your choice of gloss. Okay? Press and glide. Now I'm going to do from there to there, and then I'm going to do the inside of my mouth. Okay? I like to just double check. I got the mm hit. -hmm. I've got a little, a little, little ultra rare, I think. This is pearl gloss. I'll say that in a second. Hmm. Pearl gloss. I did that just to soften it a little bit. Okay. So that's the look. 
something a bit different. I normally wouldn't use that colour with this eyeshadow. But you know, that's the beauty of the products. Always wanting to try something new. And of course, I mean, I don't have to, but I will. Mwah! I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe because I've got heaps more coming and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.